Hey everybody, this is Ray the Video Guy, and today I want to tell you about something really exciting that's happened at YouTube. Finally, YouTube has released the ability for people to link to their personal website using uh, annotations. And they have they did this a few weeks back, but uh, at the time it was a little bit confusing because uh, some people's annotations allowed it, some of them didn't, and it took a little while to figure out exactly what to do to make sure that you were able to do that. Well, I can happily say that the other day I was able to do this with a brand new channel that had no videos on it even. I was able to uh, link it all up and get everything to work so that the annotations did link back to the website when I did upload a video. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And so if we were to take a look, for instance, at uh, one of my videos here, just as an example, if you just get into the video, you'll see that right here it says click here to visit the Elegant Themes site and learn more. If you actually click on this in the video, it takes you to my page for the Elegant Themes bonus that we have. And that's directly through the YouTube video, uh, right from an annotation. So this is really, really exciting, and just so you know, the, uh, the button here and, and this here is something that was made in the video itself before it was uploaded, uh, and then the annotation was just added on top of that. But that's basically how it works, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that, because I, I believe I've cracked the formula pretty well. Uh, first thing you're going to need to do is to log into your uh, channel, which I've done here, and you're going to go to the, the settings panel. And once in there, you're going to see under channel settings, you're going to have a few different options. And the one we want to go to is associated website. And you can see we don't have a website associated with this, but I'm just going to put one in here for now just to show you how it works. We're going to say that this is the associated website, and it's not. We'll probably get rid of it later, but just to show how this works. And you can see here it says pending. And what you need to do is verify that you own this. So we're going to hit verify. And on this page, you'll see this is similar to uh, when you're setting up an analytics account. You'll download a verification file. And you can see here, it downloads right to there. And what we're going to do is we're going to then upload that to our website do that by opening up CyberDuck here. And I'm just going to take that file and drag it into the $100 logo folder. And in a few seconds we should have that done. And there it is. So now if we hit verify, you can see it says it's now verified and you can now use Google services such as Webmaster Tools, blah blah blah. Well we don't care about that right now. We're more interested in the YouTube stuff. So we're going to go back to YouTube. And you can see it now says success instead of pending. Now the other thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to the monetization setting as well and make sure that you have your monetization uh, settings turned on. As you can see we do here, hit monetize, blah blah blah, and we're all set. And what this does is this uh, turns you into a partner which is required to get this going. So you need to have a website associated with your account and you need to have monetization turned on. Okay, so now there's still one more step once you've monetized your uh, YouTube channel. You are now a partner, but you need to verify your partnership with YouTube. And the way you do that is you go to youtube.com slash verify, and you can see they will send you uh, an SMS, so you need to just put in your phone number. hit submit and you can see it says enter code and I should get a text message in just a moment okay once that text message comes in simply enter the code and hit verify okay you can see now it says congratulations your account is now enabled for uploads longer than 15 minutes that's the magic words you want to see and that will allow this to work. So let's go back to YouTube here. And now if we click here and we go to uh, Video Manager and we go into one of our videos here, 
Let's see, there it is. We go to annotations, and you'll now see. Hey, everybody. At the top here, it says enable your account for external annotation links. So you're going to click enable. It's going to give you some terms to accept, which is fine. Okay, so now you can see it says external links enabled successfully. And so all you have to do is create an annotation now, which we've actually created one here around this area that mentions clicking on the website. And all we did was create a spotlight annotation around this. And granted, in here it says visit raythevideoguide.com slash bluehost. Uh, in reality, we're going to use the website that we associated earlier. So let me show you how to do that. All you do is click the link button. And then in the drop down, you'll see associated website. And then you just have to type in that website. Now you can see here that it keeps saying invalid, invalid. Uh, you can only put the website that you associated with your account. So if you put any affiliate link or, or some other website, it's not going to work. But as soon as I put in the correct one, you can see it says preview link. Uh, that means it's a good a good link for this. It's the correct one. Now you can use pages on there. So for instance, if we had a page called uh, you know, we wanted to send them to a help page. And you can see it still says preview because that's still a valid link because it's inside that domain. So if you're doing anything like an affiliate offer or anything like that, you're going to want to make a page on your website that they go to first. Um, and what I like to do is I like to do a, a giveaway on that page so that uh, helps people get over there. But anyway, once that is set up, all you're going to do is hit save. And now, if I view the video on my page, let me turn off the volume here. And now you'll see when this comes up, we now have a link here. And if we click on it, it'll take us to $100logo.com. So there you go. So now you can literally have links directly from your video in your video back to your website. Now this is great because quite frankly, I get tons and tons of people who uh, put messages down here. They, they watch the video, they skip over the description, which has a link here, and go to, all the way down to the comments where they then write, how do I get to the website? Well, you know, you had to pass the link in order to write the comment. But anyway, this uh, takes away that frustration because now it says right in the video, click right here and you can do that. So you can do that with any sort of annotation. You can do it with a note. You can do it with a, you know, whatever it happens to be. Just associate that with your site, and you'll be able to link over directly to your site. This is absolutely huge for all sorts of businesses, whether it's a local business or an affiliate offer or a review page, whatever it happens to be. This is going to be one of the biggest things that hits uh, internet marketing this year, I think. And... Uh, I just wanted to share that with you and I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, use it wisely so they don't take it away from us later.